This is a washer fluid tank for a second generation Dodge Ram. It's got a crack and it leaks. So I bought a new one on eBay. This one has a level sensor switch on it. But the new one, it doesn't even have the opening for the level sensor switch on it. See? Look. Look at that. So I didn't know how to get that switch out of the tank. So I thought, well... So I cut the tank up and that gives me a better view of what's going on in there. So now it is possible. See? So what I wanted to know was what was the size of this opening? And maybe I can replicate that opening on the new tank and then install the uh, level switch onto the new tank. So I wanted something round that was the same size as that opening. And so I found this washer and it looks like it's the same size or very close. So I think I'm going to use this washer as a guide for the roto zip to cut the uh, new tank. I've got three washers taped together on the end and the reason I'm using multiple washers is because this tank has this ridge here and so I want the roto zip to be able to sit on these washers and not have interference from the tank. So I would like to attempt to securely fasten this stack of washers to the tank with more tape. So I had started to cut and then I realized actually I should put a bigger base on here for the roto zip. So there's already one little hole in there. So this is the wood tape washer contraption. I think it would be an idea if I would also sand the edge. Looks like the switch works. Before installing the tank I added tap water to it and uh, checked it after some time and the seal for the uh, level switch was not leaking so I figured I'd uh, install it. You want to see what's in here? You want to look again? Anyways guys thanks for checking out another video.